Well, good evening, my wonderful gentlefolk. Hope you're all having a wonderful evening so far. See, we have Techno and our resident Dustfic in and Cabano and Dante. Hello. Hello, hello. Hope you're all doing well. Damn, there's a dance party there. Hello. All the, all the, okay, I'm, I'm joining in the dance one sec. Yeah. The dance party is real. <laughs> but yeah, how are y'all doing tonight? Hope the day or afternoon or night has been treating you well. I am glad to hear it's good so far. Let me go ahead and put a stop to this music here. Yeah. There we go. Because we're, we're going back into Valhalla. Alright, have a good night. And hopefully we'll see you next time. Oh. Alright, so when we left off last time, we had just decorated the room. We bought what Jill wanted, which was the, the nano camo. And yeah. The room is decorated with a wide variety of things. <laughs> you made a mistake in Final Fantasy XIV. What mistake did you make? The category is still travelers. Oh my goodness, hang on. I didn't mean to start it up without changing that. You forgot to lower your gear level and so you're running Lighthouse on Monk? Oh god. Oh, thank you so much! Always good to see you. Always good to see you, Mutt. Thank you so much. Three months, wow. You've been around for a bit now. Let's see here. This should be here momentarily as well to go ahead and adjust the game I'm streaming since I forgot to change it. I was like, I'm gonna get ready and it's gonna be great. I'm ready a little bit ahead of time. Click. Crap. I left it at Traveler's Rest. <laughs> Which is a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, we aren't, we aren't playing Traveler's Rest. Obviously, we're playing Valhalla tonight. You are almost a regular. I think the ones that are the most regular in this chat are Dante, Techno, and my sis. Because um, my sis has been here since the beginning. Techno's been here for quite a while, and so is Dante. <laughs> Ren, hello! How are you today? Hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. There you are, sis! Hello! Over a year now, yes. Over a year. He's been putting up with my shenanigans for over a year now. <laughs> um, so far, so good. So far, so good. Chicken curry and cheese not- oh, And you didn't bring any to share- How dare you? I want some. Aww. <laughs> Dante, you're being sweet. What the heck? <laughs> that actually does sound fantastic, though, Mutt. That really does. Like- Seriously, I want some. But I had spaghetti and meat sauce earlier, so I think I'm good. I also have another dragon fruit drink. 
Yeah! <laughs> oh, you're fine, sis. It's okay. It was just pointed out that it was still Traveler's Rest, so I was like, oh shit, hang on! <laughs> so, we're back. You were in a food coma? That is perfectly fine. You enjoy your food coma. Got your attention with the drink? Yes. I'm, I'm still having more of this dragon fruit stuff. It's good. It is very good. I'll tell you more about it, about it after the stream. Oh, by the way, late birthday gift for Lynn soon. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Sis, you getting a late birthday gift from Dante. Here very soon. Uh, so, truth be told, little, little side note, I'm not sponsored, so this is just kind of a thing. Um, one of the YouTubers I watch kept going on and on about gamer subs, and I'm very sensitive to caffeine. Um, I get very jittery sometimes. So, on that, and then other recommendations from a couple of friends of mine, I actually ended up getting their sampler pack, which all you pay is shipping for that. Um, I tried the dragon fruit punch, and it was very good, and I ordered a container of it. <laughs> and I actually really like it, so... It's one of those weird moments of something that is heavily advertised and sponsors all over the place actually turned out to be really good. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be as good as it is. Um, you can get it with caffeine and caffeine free. So there's, there's two options. You have the peach tea and the strawberry lemonade. Oh! And that I, I want to try the strawberry lemonade in all seriousness, and I've heard the peach tea is really good. But it's my first time trying it, so I just got the dragon fruit crunch for the moment and called it good. I might I might have to get the strawberry lemonade at some point though, because I really like strawberry lemonade. It's one of the best things in existence. Ah okay. <laughs> but yeah. Um Like I said, I get very jittery. I haven't gotten jitters at all with this stuff, so it's quite nice. It is it is good for my anxiety <laughs> while still keeping me awake. So I can be here and be like, hello, all you wonderful people. Cherry limes, ooh, ooh, cherry lime sickle. That sounds fantastic. That actually sounds very fantastic. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna have any money. The Steam Summer Sale's going on and you're telling me about other good drinks, and I'm just gonna be broke here in a couple of days. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so, we're gonna- we're gonna get into this. I'm actually gonna turn the music down by one. Okay. It's time to go back to work! <clears throat> Away we go. It's Saturday, December 17th. <laughs> What's going on on the TV back here? I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh. Excuse me, sir. You, you just have like one tuft of hair right here. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, that's really good to hear. The only reason I haven't tried it is because of my anxiety and I can't cope with being jittery. That is fair. That is highly fair. Um, I, like I said, I'm very jittery a lot of the time. I. I would normally get sodas and then I would crash. And then I got this and I just- I don't crash anymore. I just kind of chill. And it's good. <laughs> but yes. Damn, I have made quite a bit of money. Fantastic. Okay. So, we're here. It does keep you awake with no crash and stuff. Yeah, I, I wish I had this when I still had my office job. This would have been fan-fucking-tastic. <laughs> also, my Saturday streams will always be later on because some of the topics are 18+. plus, Especially in this game. <laughs> some of them are very 18+. plus, And I did not expect that when I first picked up this game. Especially when Donovan comes in. Dear lord! He says some shit. Why well, do I have an odd feeling I'm gonna be dealing with him again? Very soon. Uh, okay. 
All right. Good evening. <laughs> huh, I didn't expect you today. I was waiting for you to call and say you wouldn't be coming or something. Things at the Apollo Bank are getting ugly, so that means more people will be looking for a drink. You said his name, now he will appear. I have a feeling he would appear no matter if I said his name or not, because he was brought up in the last episode. And he likes to show up whenever he's mentioned. <sighs> you can take a break, you know. You're quite the hard worker. And the streets are not exactly safe right now. <laughs> They've never been when you get down to it. And besides, I can't afford to not come in with a bar closing soon. I wonder if any bar has used impending closures as a means of getting their employees to work. Seems like the total opposite would happen. Not to mention I get bored out of my brains in the apartment, so I'd rather come here anyway. <laughs> what did you say? Nothing important. Gil isn't back yet? Nope. I wouldn't worry too much about him, though. If you say so. That girl's still here? Yep, she was sleeping so peacefully I felt bad about waking her up. So would you mind doing that for me? <laughs> Actually, yes, I mind. But you're the boss and it's kind of my fault she's here in the first place. Sorry about that. Oh my god, I'm, I'm waking up streamer Chan. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> hey young lady, sleep another hour and we'll have to start charging you a motel fee! <laughs> Oh god! Oh god! She's awake, no. Where am I? Oh right, the shoddy downtown bar. Let's see, all my gear is in place. And neither my pants nor my panty, shirt, or bra have been displaced. Oh, it's the flat bartender, good morning. Wow. Good evening. Evening? Oh, well, it's the best night or er, day of sleep I've had in quite some time. Sorry for all the trouble I may have caused you today or last night. All of the comments, every single comment, they just fly. Someone just said, hey, kids want to die. Too much clothing. Oh my god. D uh, don't worry. You're so nice, flat bartender. Thanks for taking care of me. Bye! Hello guys and gals, streaming chance back in action with her batteries reloaded. Ah, the moon, it burns! Oh my fucking god. <sighs> so that's streaming Chan. For the people who weren't here last time, that's who we dealt with as one of the last people who'd come into the bar. And she is just a fucking spaz who is streaming her life 24-7. 24-7. I understand how some people can do that, but at the same time, I hear it and I'm just like, D but why? Flat, how rude? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she's very rude. And then, oh lordy, yeah. I felt like I've just, I feel like I've just unleashed something terrible unto the world. <laughs> That's a mood. Come on, it's not that bad. I mean, it kind of is. She's gonna go and harass so many people. She's interesting, yes. Yes, she is. She's interesting, quote unquote. Imagine being a regular on her stream, how awful it would be. Well, apparently for her late night package when she is doing stuff that is more inappropriate, um, she charges a premium fee of like $99.99 per person per month. So, I mean... <laughs> Come on, it's not that bad. Say, what's this bottle? A client gave it to me yesterday. A gift of sorts, I'm guessing. Oh, cool. <laughs> Shatter bait, get that bread. Yeah. It's some sort of rum. Rum? Nice! Want me to serve you a bit of it? Hmm, yeah, sure. Oh. Grandpa booze? Drag it to the shaker before mixing. Rum. Here! Alright! 
I'm gonna enjoy this in my office. Thanks. Anytime. Okay, then. Ah, we're back here again. I'll just do... Time to serve, mix, and change lives. Wait, that's not how it goes. <sighs> no one here to retort. Man, it feels lonely without Gil here. I just hope the restlessness in the streets doesn't lead to dangerous or weird types coming in here. Uh, well, our first customer is a brain. Okay, hello, brain. Oh, hello! How are you tonight? Hope you're doing well. Good evening. Okay, it talks. Holy shit, that was a record-breaking jinx. Well, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? I'll have a blue fairy. Don't make a joke about becoming real. Don't make a joke about becoming real. On it. Let's give this um, brain a blue fairy. <laughs> Two, three, four, one of those, and that aged mix. Boop. Here you go. Nice, yeah, this is the thing. So, um, how are you gonna- this, this is the actual question. Oh, you can grab stuff. I should have figured as much. You can drink stuff? And eat. I have the same system Lilum do. Interesting. Can I ask you something, um, er, miss? Call me Taylor, just Taylor. And yes, a cutie like you can ask me anything. Oh, I'm getting hit on by a brain. Excuse you. Okay, Taylor. You have to be the first person I've met that didn't go, okay, just Taylor. <laughs> nah, too easy. You are a brain in a jar, right? I'm sure not a hologram of that, I'm sure. <laughs> yep, I'm a bona fide human brain in a jar. So how? Why? I'm, I'm asking the real questions here. The real questions. Give me one sec. I needed a little drink of water. I got my straw back so my model doesn't freak out. What, does my handsomeness make you speechless? Excuse you? <laughs> You're not something a girl sees every day, and that's saying quite a bit in these parts. This is certainly a jarring conference of Dante. That was actually well played. I'll give you a B. Fear not, for I have speech prepared for these situations. Hey, Palico! How are you tonight? Hope you're doing well. Not liking an ego, I said, nope. Not at all. We're talking to a brain in a jar. <laughs> I actually, I've grown to really enjoy this game. I picked it up on a whim and then started playing it. And started streaming it. And people seem to like it, so we're here. <laughs> talking to a brain in a jar who wanted an alcoholic beverage. I, I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> A speech? Have you looked into Coffee Talk? Yes, I actually want to pick that one up. That's going to be the game I play after I finish up this one. So yeah, that'll that'll be coming soon. You're seeing one of the five great living bottled brains of the world. We are brains living in conditions that allow us to exist as any other humanoid creature. All while computing in all while computers in our jars scan our activities. In a slow but steady manner, we are helping the world understand the inner workings of nature's most complex computer. You can say this is a big brain moment. <laughs> I'll give that one a B as well. I'm guessing you prepared that after being asked the same question too many times, huh? Not out of exasperation or anything like that, mind you. 
I just wanted to have something thoughtful prepared. Yeah, so Lynn is my moderator. She edits my highlights. She's made my emotes. And she's my wonderful sister. Everyone show Lynn some love. Get, get the hearts going. Bloop. Throwing hearts in chat. <laughs> I even have a couple of pamphlets with me. You want one? Sh sure. What brings one of our world's five brains in jars to this place? <laughs> oh, I'm from around here. Act oh, uh, okay. I just wanted to take a walk for the first time in quite a bit of time. <laughs> All of the hearts for you, sis. All of the hearts. As I get comfy in my chair again. There we go. Have you come here before? <laughs> you can't handle... Sis, it's okay. It's okay. Sadly, no. Otherwise, I'd remember a cute face like your... Excuse me. I'm, I'm not into brains and jars. Thank you. <laughs> Something I never thought I would say. <laughs> Speaking of which, can I have your name? Uh, it, it's Jill. Jill, that's a really cute name. Okay, thank you, I guess. Say, weren't you scared of going out today? What with the commotion around and all? I don't know. I don't know how it sees. I don't know how it's drinking. I don't understand any of this right now. <laughs> the brain does have game. It, it surprised me. It didn't stop you from coming here either, did it? Yeah, you're right. It's gonna take more than cryptic but ominous news to stop me. <laughs> you're awfully energetic, did you know that? Sorry, does that bother you? No, not at all. Just that I figured a brain in a jar wouldn't be so happy. While I was alive, my body got to a point where there wasn't much I could do. The new state of existence allows me to accomplish more than I ever could before. Okay, so that, that's a legit reason why he's now a brain in a jar. Plus, I'm doing something that'll help people in the long run. Wouldn't you be happy? I wonder. Do you want to make me happy, Jill? No. No. Depends on what it takes. Don't worry, just give me a beer. Alright, then yeah, I'll make you happy. <laughs> One beer. Okay. Pardon me. Two of those, one powder delta, two of these, four of these, and then all mixed. Here, a beer. Oh yes, no matter what happens, beer is always good. It's interesting though, just yesterday I was talking to a client about brain uploads. You were? Yeah, we were talking about how even if you upload your brain, you'd still be here. I thought about that too. Do you think the you in the cybernetic environment would feel like she was indeed transferred? They ask the real questions here. I'm 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 a little caught off guard. Thought-provoking conversation that I was not expecting to have tonight. So chat, what do you think about that question? I'm actually curious. So if your brain was uploaded and it was stored somewhere. But you were still here. What would you think? Copied consciousness is spooky. Yes. Yes, it is. The real deep questions. We going in deep tonight. That sounded really bad. Please ignore me. <laughs> anyway. It's like Soma. First, just got done with the lighthouse, so that's fair. I actually have never played Soma. It might not be the same person. I'm as bad as the brain. <laughs> I have my moments. I have my moments. Oh, why hello, Akrios. My bestie has arrived. How are you? We're dealing with a brain in a jar and asking the real questions tonight. The protagonist is trying to upload himself to a rocket that will save him digitally because the 
Earth is ending and he succeeds, but he finds out that he's still there while his digital self is uploaded. Interesting. I might have to look into that one. I am doing quite well, even though this brain in a jar is asking some real deep questions and I am concerned. Like, would she remember everything, like waking up someplace else and so on? Mm, that's an interesting question. When Ghost in the Shell there, didn't we? Yes, we did that too. I was actually thinking earlier about being able to transfer someone's brain into a lilum. One of the brains is being used in such an experiment, actually. They can make a functional lilum. And unfortunately, the wiring and other such stuff makes it look more creepy than anything. They aren't transferring his identity or anything, though, just wiring him to a body. At oh. You'd think someone would rather do that than float around exposed in a jar. I have to admit, the whole brain thing does look creepy. But the body I'm telling you about is just uncanny looking. Why do I have a feeling we're going to meet one of these in the future now? Because it came up. That, that seems to be a bit of a trend. Something gets mentioned and then something shows up just a little while later. That's some Krang level stuff. Yeah. Speaking of uncanny, how did you feel the first time you saw it? When you saw yourself like this for the first time, looks like a mother brain knockoff. Consciousness, I feel, is a uniquely individual thing and transferring it can, can't occur without ending the original. Huh. That's actually a very interesting way to look at it, Dante. I'm gonna keep that one in mind. It was quite a shock, actually. It didn't last too long, though. I never was too attached to my body. Later in my life, that was almost literal. <laughs> In mind? Yes. Yes, exactly. I'm glad you caught on. <laughs> you know what the downside to this body is? I can't get drunk. Oh, that part sucks. You came to a bar and you can't get drunk. I mean, that's kind of safe because then... Uh, I mean, I would say designated driver, but I don't know how this thing sees. This is quite philosophical, yes. If you want to call that a downside... If you wanted to drink alcohol for the taste, there are many alternatives. Drunkenness is part of the whole experience. Why, though? Lilum can get drunk with no problem. Yeah, but in their case, their brain's a computer attached to their body. Getting drunk causes their brains to reduce the input speed to their bodies. Depending on the model, their drunk subroutine might throw in a different behavioral cycle, even. It's hard to get drunk when the whole point of you being in a jar is figuring out exactly how you work. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Jill! Oh, Alma! Just, oh, Alma? Where's the courtesy one would expect from plebeian bar staff? <laughs> Alma. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? Happy? Not when you put it that way. Why, hello there. Oh, okay. New target acquired. Hmm? Wow! You hurt my feelings with that, darling. So, sorry, you don't see many talking disembodied brains every day. I mean, I did work a summer in little maintenance, but even then, those were talking heads. Oh, don't worry about it. At least you're not running or fainting. Your name was Alma, right? I'm Taylor. Nice to meet you, Taylor. Say, Alma, can I buy you a drink? Sorry, I only date people who are at least 50% organic, and I have at least one face. Hmm, I know just what to strive for, then. Just kidding, it'd make me happy to make you happy by buying you a drink. Does that bother you? I guess if Jill's the bartender, I don't have a problem with that. Awesome, I'll pay for your next drink then. What will you have? I'll have a cobalt velvet. And you, Taylor? I'm fine, actually. You're gonna have me drink alone? I don't want to drink that much. Okay then, a cobalt velvet. Let's see. Two of these, three of these. Five of these on the rocks and mixed. That's actually a really pretty little drink. Your drink. Oh, hello! Welcome! And who said I could party without you? Well, I mean, I, I started at 10 Eastern. That was on my schedule. <laughs> How are you tonight? Hope you're doing well. Take you a moment to relax my voice briefly because I've been talking a lot. Oh, 
and having some more water. Playing Pokemon with the girlfriend? Aha! Always fun. I actually didn't really get into Pokemon until Y. But I had fun with it when I played. So there's that at least. But I'm glad you're having fun. Let's see. Hope you enjoy it. You know, you've been nicer to me these past minutes than at least than at least three guys I've been... This wording though. Then at least three guys have been- okay, I was misreading it- have been in the last year. Judging from the way you two talk, I guess you've been a client here for a while now, right? We should get Tim Tim instead. <laughs> Tim Tim. <laughs> Only for about half a year or so, if memory serves right. Really, one would think it's been longer. Uh, it feels like it's been longer. Shut up, you love me and you know it. Pokemon, but multiplayer? Huh. We'll have to try it at some point. I know we have a lot of games we're planning to play soon. So. I, I am not too worried about it. So you just started coming here and that was it? Well, the first time I came here, the other guy, speaking of which, where's Pablo? Gillian. <laughs> Archimedes? Dunno, adventuring or something. She just called Gil Archimedes. <laughs> Fucking Archimedes. Like, how, how difficult is it for people to get Gil right? Anyway, the other guy served me the first time I came here. Nothing unusual there. The next time I showed up, Jill here was the one serving and I don't know, I just felt like she gets me. There's this chemistry, we click. We click, she says. The fact that I feel more chemistry with her than many other people is kind of sad, though. And immediately I think of the medic's bird from Team Fortress 2. <laughs> it's always good to see a nice friendship. Sadly, it's getting late and I've got to go. I'll leave you two lovely ladies alone. See you. Bye. Please come again. That tailor sure was nice. A bit weird at first, though. Apparently one of five brains being studied by scientists or something. There's a summary of it in this pamphlet. Let's see. Oh yeah, I've heard of them before. Can't believe I've actually met one. Been failing the gym battles and it's weird feeling from the Nuzlocke I've been streaming. Ah. I... I think I only ever did one gym battle in Y because then one of my former roommates kind of took my 3DS. I never gave it back, so I, I never got to finish playing it. Maybe one day. Oh jeez. That's <laughs> fine. They were not a pleasant person, so I'm glad they're gone. Say Alma, how many people are there in your family? Just curious. Well, aside from my mom and dad, we're five si sorry, four sisters and one brother. Ah. Funnily enough, we all have names that start with the first five letters in the alphabet. So you're the eldest one? No, I'm actually the middle kid. You're the middle kid, but your name starts with an A? Don't think too much about it. I never said the order reflected our ages. I should try and get an emulator and give it a shot again. One of these days. You're running Praetorium as Dark Knight? Good luck. I'm sure it will go well. My sister Sh Carlotta's the eldest one. Then there's Diana just before me. Then comes Eva and the at the bottom lies Bella. I'm sorry, the youngest one is Bernardo. Ah, we have someone who transitioned just in time for Pride Month. Yay! Mr. Mana! Hello! How are you doing? I hope you're having a lovely evening so far. I see the little pride hearts. I love them. I have another sip of my dragon fruit. I am glad. <sighs> okay, welcome to the trans army. There you go then. I'm glad to hear you're doing all right. You've never been alone, I'm guessing. Can't complain about that, I guess. 
it helps that we were never five in the same house. By the time Evita and Bernie were born, Diana and Carlotta had already moved. We got swords and muffins. <laughs> I, I approve of this. Uh, that's that's good. That is good. Speaking of family, today I came because I needed a break from everything that's been going on with them. Do you live with them? No, but Evita and Bernie do. Not to mention I visit them almost every day. Anyway, my second eldest sister, Diana, just separated from her husband. It's not even been a week, but she's already got some other guy in her bed. Damn. She left her kid with her husband's parents and pretty much forgot about them? Damn! Hot fucking damn! Just caught a peek at you? Congratulations! Never mind the fact they need to go to school and all that. Damn. Diana's life has always been messy, but these days she's really making it big. She wants a time for herself to live her life. And this is exactly why we're late night. She didn't think about that when she married the guy at 20. She didn't think about that when marrying a guy she only had known for like three months. You should take your own advice. Hey, I'd never marry someone who could catch my attention so quickly, okay? Sure, there was the one time it almost happened, but I blamed the damn stadium kiss cam. <laughs> kiss cam? I was going out with a guy my little sister introduced me to. Seems he was her friend's brother or something. We went out a couple of times and he invited me to a basketball game. Mood was nice, but later the kiss cam focused on us instead, and instead of kissing me, he proposed? Damn! I almost got caught in the mood and accepted. Huh. So I take it you rejected him. In a stadium. On the fucking kiss cam. We went out for like three weeks! I don't know, maybe he wanted to get in my pants with the old sex on the wedding night line. Fast living, oh my lord, yes. That was... That was not even just jumping the gun, that was jumping the shark. But I honest to god can't understand why he thought it would be a good idea. That sounds too convoluted, you know, proposing and waiting for wedding night just for sex. Never underestimate the links a man is willing to go to get you in their bed. I've seen more convoluted plots over the years. I'm feeling tempted to ask, but I'll pass. Want anything else? Hmm, what's that bottle? Oh yeah, it's just some rum a client gave me yesterday. A gift? What did you do? A good enough service, I'm guessing. Kasik. Huh, interesting name. What does it mean? Kasik is the name of the chieftain of some native tribes. How many of us just went to a wedding for the food? I... I've done that. I've seriously done that a few times. Though the last time I went to a wedding, I was actually asked to preside over it because the reason that the the brides were together was my fault. So they were like, you you get to preside over this. And I was like, I mean, I guess. <laughs> and that was back in 2017? It, it's actually a very funny story. So we're going to have a brief story time moment. So, um, back in 2010, I lived with my friends Rita and Alex. And there was one time that I walked into the living room. And Rita was literally rolling back and forth on the floor. She had moved the coffee table out of the way and she was just rolling back and forth on the floor. And I looked at her and I was like, Rita, what's wrong? And while rolling back and forth, she's like, there's this girl that I really like on these forums, but I'm not sure I should say anything because I don't want to mess up her friendship or anything. And I looked at her and I was like, tell her. What's the worst she can say? No. And the following year she came to visit and yeah, they've been married since 2017. <laughs> so yeah. There wasn't a whole lot to that story, but it was still a story. She was rolling in, ang <laughs> in anguish, yes. Also, thanks for the hydrate, sis. She knows how easily my throat gives out. So. I see. Do you want me to serve you some of this? I'll pass. I don't have too many good memories where rum's involved. Give me a fringe weaver instead, will you? All right. Fringe Weaver. Yep, 
aged and mixed. Boop. One fringe weaver. What kind of memories do you have with rum? Nothing you need to worry about. <laughs> Two shots of vodka. Yes. You say that and I thought of um, an episode of Mythical Kitchen where she's like, and two shots of vodka. <laughs> okay. All right, now it's my turn to ask questions. About what? What kind of family is your family? Well, gonna AFK for a bit? All right, we'll see you when you get back. I'm an only child. My mom and my dad split amicably. My mom is a violinist, so she is always away from home with the orchestra. Sis, you would probably be on the floor. <laughs> Charlie and Roman thought she was in a movie in the Caribbean. <laughs> I wouldn't because I have died from the first one. Most likely, yes. I spent most of my time with my dad, my aunt, and my grandpa. Aside from that, I'd say my childhood was quite uneventful. Hey, didn't you get something like your mom's artistic vein or something? I played the violin until I was around 16, I think. What made you stop? If I had two shots of vodka, I'd probably tuck myself in for the night. That is fair. Um, actually, you know, that's a good question. What is everyone's favorite drink? Alcoholic or non-alcoholic? Just whatever your favorite drink is. I'm curious now. Mine, alcoholic wise, is a blue Hawaiian. Non alcoholic wise, is between water and this dragon fruit punch. Both of which are good. Pina colada with rum and brandy. Ooh, that sounds lovely. I'll pass on the brandy part, but I do love rum. Orange soda with limoncello. Ooh, milk. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That is indeed fair. I know Suina's is chalky milk. Just start dancing to the music. <laughs> That's a running joke with me and my girlfriend. I caught a Pidgey and the only move it knows is... <laughs> Throw. And that's fair. I don't know. I just kind of said that's it one day and stopped. What about cousins or the rest of your family? Warm is hot chocolate. That is always good. Warm drinks. I really like. I like coffee, but I'm moving away from it because I get kind of jittery. But I do have hot chocolate. You have tempted me. I might have to go make some here in a bit. What about cousins or the rest of your family? I see very little of them, actually. Mainly because my dad moved away from most of them, and my mom's most of my mom's family live in France to boot. Whenever I send him out, I just yell out, kill it with sand, Pidgey. <laughs> just sand. Hot chocolate is good. You know, Citron slaps when you're congested. That is fair, too. So your mom's French? Yep. Can you speak French? Hang on, I gotta pull out the French here. Mon aéroglissure est planté d'anglise. Oh, what does that mean? Rubbish? I don't know. I can't speak French. For cool drinks, probably a cool tea? Warm tea is also very good. Alcoholic? I'm a zero. <laughs> That's fair. I did try though, but college started and I stopped taking classes. Funny thing, I actually have a cousin from my mom's side that lives close by. But you'll be hard pressed to make me spot up in a crowd. <laughs> well, I hope you have a rad stream and stay fabulous. <laughs> well, thank you. I hope you have fun playing Pokemon with your girlfriend and thanks so much for coming by. Hope you have a wonderful evening. I'll be reciting all of this for the chat. <laughs> You're kind of lucky, you know? All of my mom's side of the family lives here. 
The chances of me meeting someone I'm related to on the street are ridiculously high. But yeah, that's the premiere on my family. Nothing too interesting, sadly. Your mom's a French violinist and you call that uninteresting? I'm wondering if your family has ever made a fuss about you being a hacker. Hacker makes it sound too exotic. It's like if I called you a mixologist. Please don't. Ever. Sounds like somebody... <laughs> something somebody would say to make bartender sound sophisticated. I'll be streaming tomorrow if you want to hang out and hear me die on the inside. I'll keep an eye out for when you go live. See? I mean, hacker is a good way to summarize it, but it's not the best. I'm a security consultant. People want to find flaws in the security of their systems, and I do my best to pinpoint where it breaks. Be it Glitch City or anywhere else in the world, they need security, I'm their woman. You told quite a few stories about cracking into databases to retrieve info like some sort of mercenary, though. That doesn't change the fact that hacker is not the best term to use. It makes the whole thing sound illegal when it's actually an honest job. Didn't you tell me you once secured some incriminating pics from a guy's cell phone? A mostly honest job. Sheesh. <laughs> Non-alcoholic, anything with dragon fruit? That is fair. I took another sip of my dragon fruit. <laughs> what made you become a hacker, by the way? I've always been a sucker for puzzles. Even as a kid, I've always had a Sudoku or crossword with me. But at some point, they started feeling kind of samey. So when I started college, I took a course on system security. It felt like the kind of puzzle I was looking for. Mango based drinks? Always good. Always good. I mean, there are all kinds of things involved in breaching that security. You need to attack the stuff from different angles. And it's something that's always evolving to the point of everything... The whole point of everything is to strengthen security. Mango lemonade? I've never had mango lemonade. That sounds so good. What the hecky? I, I feel like I need this in my life. Every time you think you've got the gist of it, they change everything. So it's kind of like an always evolving puzzle. A puzzle I help make harder at that. Pardon me, I had to cough right quick. Hmm, I didn't think about it that way. It is less actiony than what movies make it up to be, though. No real-time frantic typing, nothing like that. Still, seeing my code break through something, it's an amazing feeling. Will you have anything else? Hmm, I'll have a classy drink. Any classy drink. Here goes nothing. Classy. We'll give her a Brantini. Here. Bravo, you made me very happy. I think they called those white hat hackers? I think I heard the term once. Hmm. I am unfamiliar with the term. That's still really cool, though. Woohoo, I guess. You know, sometimes I feel like you know me better than all the guys I've been with. I feel compelled to ask how many guys you've been with. <laughs> if we're talking about serious, long-lasting relationships, just a handful. Casual dating and one-night stands, on the other hand. Why do that? Why go through so many people? Hey, it's not like I take every guy I see to bed. What? Who do you take me for? You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. That's something I don't have an answer to, actually. Maybe I'm just a romantic that loves having someone to cuddle with. Maybe I just get lonely. Maybe there's a deep-seated psychological reason behind it all. Maybe I'm just horny. Whatever the case, I just kind of feel like it's a quest I shouldn't give up yet. White Hat Hacker, or Ethical Hacker, is an individual who uses hacking skills to identify security vulnerabilities in hardware, software, and networks. Ah, very cool. Well, it's not like I'm too different. Until recently, I too had a streak of one-night stands. Really? What made you stop? Reasons. What is it? Tell me. Maybe later. It's time for my break. Come with me. Huh? Why? Can't I stay here, away from the cold? I don't trust you. You could fit a bottle between those tits of yours and nobody would know. Why not just say please come and let's keep talking at the back of the bar? You got the message. Now come. Guide me then. Boss, I'm taking my break. Call me if anyone comes in. Sure, sure. 
All right, we're on break. We're halfway through our shift. Or a hacker with a cute white fedora. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go make some tea because my throat is trying to give out a little bit quicker than it usually does. So let me save right quick. So I will be right back. My sis is gonna run a quick little ad break to make sure that when people join, they don't end up having the pre-roll ads. And I'll be back here in just a couple of minutes after I make some tea. So be right back.
and I'm back with tea. So hello. We're back. I made some lemony ginger goodness. I got my honey over here. The oh goodness. <laughs> Thank you so much for gifting a sub tech. No goodness, you gift us up every stream. Ah. And I appreciate every single one of them. We have now gifted 46 subs to my channel. Holy crap. Holy crap, techno. That's so many subs. But yes, I have I have my tea and I really do appreciate it. So yes, we're, we have some lemon ginger tea. I was gonna make spice chai, and then I was like, eh. Yes, now you have a gift sub. Now you can use the dancing emote. There you go. Dance the night away. Dance party! Bloop! Okay. <laughs> Let me finish steeping this tea right quick. Because I use exceedingly hot water so the tea doesn't quite need as long to steep, which is nice. The joys of having one of the, the happy little portable electric kettle thingies. You literally just turn it on and then instantaneous really fucking hot tea. <laughs> so maybe let me put some honey in here right quick. Mm. There we go. Tea stirring ASMR. Oh my god, I put way too much honey in this. This is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Ooh, that has a lemony smell. Okay. So, hello. Almost done stirring this thing on. There we go. Alright. Now, tea. You will cool. Okay. We're getting back to it. Boop. It's now safe to keep playing. Good. We're on a fucking journey. Cold, 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 cold. <laughs> All right. So where do I go from here? That's the last one I picked. It sure is chilly out there. It's kind of refreshing. The hobo out there seems like a nice guy. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Hang on. Oh, my throat near instantly felt better. The power of honey and tea. Billy Vine? Yeah, he's a cool guy. Very respectful. <laughs> Apparently he got into some legal trouble and that's why he's like that. Really? He could also just be a very nice crackhead, though. <laughs> so are you gonna tell me? What? Why did you stop having one night stands and all that? I started working here. I don't know, after I started working here, I felt like I didn't need to do that anymore. Maybe I was just lonely? Aw, how cute. I also got fed up with everyone complaining about me smoking on the bed. You could have burned the bed with that. Yeah, yeah. If you ever need a hug, just let me know. You don't need one night stands for that. <sighs> you left me thinking though, what's your thing? We're getting into interesting territory here. Your fetish? You strike me as the kind to have an overpower fetish of sorts. What the fuck? You want to feel totally swayed by someone, have consensual yet forceful sex with your partner. And this is why it's an 18 plus stream. Did I hit the bullseye? You have quite the imagination, girl. <laughs> oh, Dorothy's back. Honey, some service here. I'm here, don't scream. Oh ho! Were you two hanging out at the back of the bar? What kind of stuff were you doing? Just talking. Is that what they call it these days? What do you want? 
Something soft, something sweet. No alcohol, please. Wouldn't it be the same if you just grabbed a soda from the vending machine? But I like you! <laughs> Do you just like my presence so much? Sweet and non-alcoholic, you say. Alright. Sweet. Sweet and non-alcoholic. This is what adds the alcohol to it, I believe. Your fetish is <laughs> druid assigned? Uh, obscure D&D &D reference. I actually got that. I actually got that, so don't worry. I've played a lot of D&D &D in my time. Hang on one sec. One sec. Um, sorry, I got a text from my mom. One of her cats is not doing well. I was supposed to go over there for Father's Day tomorrow, but we're going to be postponing. So, yeah. Just responding right quick. Try this one. Just without the Carmotrine. Here, like you asked. See, you don't get this kind of treatment from vending machines. Unless you're Lawrence. But he has this weird idea that good service is the same as selling lukewarm cans of coat. Well, Lawrence? A friend of mine, he's a vending machine. She has a friend who's a vending machine. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh, but how impolite of me. Hmm? I'm lovely and my name's Dorothy. Dorothy Hayes, nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Alma. The pleasure's mine. Dorothy, you say? Yep. Why? Nothing. I guess I've heard about you before. Really? What kind of stuff? Tell me, tell me. Mostly about your, um, pluckiness. And here I was thinking it was because I'm a sex worker. So much for trying to be subtle. Hey, I take pride in my job, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. Isn't it dangerous? I know how to take care of myself, thank you very much. Where do you work, Alma? I'm a hacker. Really? A full-fledged hacker? Not the kind that sees a computer logged into some account and says they're hacking, right? No, of course not. I've always been curious about how being a hacker works. Do you just start typing really fast while waiting for something to happen? No. I can explain, but I don't know if you'll get it. We won't know until you try, right? Last time I said I had to jam- I had to jam the plastic replica of a halogen light and bulb up a grown man's ass. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. That's- I- I'm at a loss for that part. It was a success! <laughs> okay, let me try to explain in general <laughs> how it works. Dorothy is a treat, hacker man side man. Wow! Let's say I have to retrieve information from a company's database. Alright. First, I do some research on the target. Operating system, servers, how the information is stored and all that. Um, Valhalla. Excuse me, there's no signal back here. Hang on. Now there's the $60 thing of cup ramen. Okay. There have been a couple of occasions where I had to go in blind, but they're the exception rather than the rule. First, I secure things from my side. I start working behind proxies, websites, and other more vulnerable computers I find on the way. Uh-huh. After that, I start testing the networks. I go through the basic protocols, try known exploits as long as they don't trigger any alarm. Once I've tested the ground, the fun starts. 
I go through all the security protocols and look to bypass them. Sometimes I have to look deeper into the code for the password itself. I, I see. Then when I finally, when I'm finally in, I go and retrieve user privileges. After that, I go and try to become a super user and get what I need. H how do you do that? Well, there are a couple of ways. I can use a pre-made program to hack into an already existing account. I can use info someone already gave me. But the usual way is using a buffer overflow. A buff. What happens next? What happens next? Oh my god, she's so excited. What the hell? I'm concerned with how excited she is. I create a backdoor on the system before leaving and covering my tracks. I, I can't. I can't handle it anymore. Alma, hack me, hack me like you've never hacked anything before. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> Why do I have a feeling Dorothy took everything the wrong way? Eh? -eh? Make my buffer overload, complete, create a backdoor in me, escalate your user privileges, find flaws in my security. <laughs> Ma'am, this is a public space. Yes, it is. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Sorry, I got carried away. No shit, what happened? Have you seen those movies or books where a couple does something like paint a picture or cook? But they make it sound like they're having sex instead? Suggestive scenes, yeah. Well, that whole thing was kind of like that for me. <laughs> They, they really are good double entendres. I guess humans don't really get it because their minds don't upload to networks or anything. But trust me, if you recorded yourself giving a really detailed explanation in a really sexy voice, you'd make millions. Horny Lilum are an unexploited market. I see. Oh, it looks like my ride is here. Your ride? Yeah, my brother-in-law came to look for me. Is it alright to ask that from him? It's okay, I've known him since preschool. It just so happened that he got married to my sister. Hey, Dorothy, you need a ride? Can you drop me by 3rd Street? Sure, it's on the way. Yay, I'll take you on your offer then. Bye, honey. Later, Jill. Take care. The street seems noisy. Oh, a client. Hello, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get? Who the fuck are you? Why do you have question mark on your forehead? Ah. Are you okay? You have you have a constant questioning look on your face. Ah. Okay, I'll see myself out. I'll just I'll just see myself out one sec. Away I go. Away I go. I see myself out now. Okay, I'm coming back. Come back now. Okay. Ah yes, the riddler's cousin the diddler. Oh no. Such a small yet comfortable place. Truly an oasis of spiritual drinks in the midst of the suburban desert. A place where lost and corrupt souls can gather to forget their troubles for a while. A nest where everyone from the most pathetic scum to the vilest trash junkie can sit to kill their insides. <laughs> I don't like that cousin. No one likes that cousin. Truly a real persona non grata. That's Latin for mysterious place, by the way. I'm so smart and philosophical. Good, I picked a good voice for him. All right, we got ourselves a persona non grata here. What will you have then? 17. I excuse me? I said 17. 7 plus teen. What does that even mean? What does it mean to you? Just be sure 17 is about the drink you want, right? Only if you want it to be. What the? I Hang on. I got another text I need to check right quick. I don't understand this person at all. Sorry, I was checking another text from my mom right quick. Let's see here. I'm, I'm just gonna take a quick shot in the dark here.
He wants 17. You can have up to 20 ingredients in a drink. So we'll try that. One, two, three, four, five. There's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There was a redeem. Ah, the dictionary. Pardon me. I was trying to figure out the drink. Hang on. The Dictionary of Obscure Sorrows. Let me see here. So the next one that we have in the wonderful Dictionary of Obscure Sorrows is Elsewise. Stuck by the poignant strangeness of other people. Oh no, I've already read that one. The Till. The reservoir of all possible opportunities still available to you at this point in your life. All the countries you still have the energy to explore, the careers you still have the courage to pursue, the skills you still have time to develop, the relationships you still have the heart to make. Like a pail of water you carry around in your head, which starts off oh, feeling like an overwhelming burden, but steadily draws down as you get older, splashing gallons over the side every time you take a step. So that was the till. I mean, I, I did tell you it was done. Aged mixed. Let me try this. Oh! Okay, explain. The total of ingredients here add up to 17. Beautiful. Oh, I got it. What brings you here, mister? I'm Armandio. Virgilio Armandio. See, I introduced myself because using the Asian order. Using the Asian order because that's a lot more polite. Right. I don't like this guy. And I came here looking for an otherworldly experience. I was passing by and saw this place called Valhalla. I want to see the souls of resting warriors, the wounded spirits of noble souls. The golden hall full of never-ending banquets, the lively Valkyries looking over them. We have some arcade machines in the corner. <laughs> no, no, no. You're taking me too literally. You see, I'm being poetic. I'm giving a mystical air to a mundane affair. I wanted to see drunk people. I wanted to see waitresses and food. I wanted to see a bar and all of its decadent glory. Well, you're out of luck. Today's been a quiet, quite the slow day. Not that I'm very surprised, given how things have been going on in the streets, though. Humans are a nasty bunch, bunch. That much is true. Making a ruckus, coming at each other. But that's to be expected from the only mammal to kill its own. I'm no zoologist, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Oh yeah? Then give me an example, not zoologist bartender. Like I said, I don't know the exact details. I just know that it isn't right. If memory serves right, once a lion takes over the pride, every cub born from another lion is killed or something. Takes over the pride. You can't take over the pride. Pride isn't a tangible thing. You need to stop making things up, non-zoologist bartender. But going back on the topic, do you know what the number 17 means? The atomic number of chlorine? No, and Chloe is a name, not a number, you know. I hate this guy. I hate this guy! The group where halogens are in the periodic table? Stop making up words like halogens, periodic, and table. I'm not making up words! Okay, then I give up. 17 is us. Eh? Every human has 17 pairs of chromosomes. That number is the whole foundation of you and me. It's 23. What is? Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, not 17. Well, they're both primal numbers, so it's the same idea. This guy's a fucking idiot. Primal. Half faux intelligent poets, yes. Do you want anything else? I'd like a single plum floating in perfume, served in a man's hat. Okay. <laughs> he wants a plum floating perfume in a... Son of a bitch. Ah, uh, so probably... Hang on. Here we go. Yeah. 
here. <laughs> He's so fucking dumb. Yes, he is. Go ahead and say it, Techno. Like, seriously. Look at that. A fedora. Yes. Yes, of course. The only thing he's missing is the neck beard. Ah, you didn't wait. You did. Enjoy. I will. I'll drink this, um, perfume. You don't really have to. Yeah, but that'd be silly. You win this round, bartender. Hey, bartender. Have you ever thought about death? How? What if we're already dead, both of us? What? What tells you I even existed before I entered the door? How can you assure me this reality is real and we're not, in fact, in heaven or hell all along? What if everything up to this point is just some stupid story written by an unemployed 20-something and that- I think that's a bit meta, because I don't know how old the person is that made this game. But dear lord. D. Okay. I can punch you and make you feel reality. I don't care about any of that, actually. This reality is real for me, and that's all that matters. Such a close-minded way of seeing things. You need to get away from the factual facts. Open your mind to things beyond your reach. Also, he's a motherfucking smartass. Yes, he is. You'll never reach enlightenment if you don't start. The habanera has started. It means Twilight of the Gods in German, by the way. No, it doesn't. That's... <sighs> Habanera. Well, you're on your own, bartender. Enjoy your new world order. Um, uh, what? A couple of nearby cars exploded, it seems. Oh, hell. Let me take a look out the window. Be careful. I have known children smarter than him. Yeah. I, I agree. I see lots of flashes in the distance. Most likely gunshots. Jill, come here a sec. What? About five gigabytes of reports proving that several White Knight squads have been used to cover illegal actions were released to the public by an unknown anarchist group. We're receiving reports of several units going rogue and using their weapons to hunt down anyone they find on the street. Several counter-terrorism forces from neighboring cities- pardon me, I gotta do my newscaster voice. <clears throat> Several counter-terrorist terrorism forces from neighboring cities have been dispatched in order to subdue the crazed units after a plea from the vice president. We're still waiting for a declaration from Zaibatsu Corp CEO on the subject, but until then... Things are ugly in and outside of the bank, it seems. I'd recommend you st stay here tonight. It's too dangerous to even think about going outside. What if they break in? They won't. Even then, Bar has quite the security system. And I'll be here protecting you as an added bonus. <sighs> Yeah, I guess I'll stay tonight. I'll get you the spare mattress I have. Do you mind sleeping in my office? No, I guess it's fine. Good. <sighs> Let's hope everything is solved by morning. Thank you for the hydrate, sis. I'll have Zen Kento on hand, just in case. The metal bat with nails? There's nothing it can't bash! <laughs> Say, Gil, for I hope everything's better by tomorrow. Imposter checking a stretch? Thank you so much. <sighs> Thank you. I appreciate it. I got tips. I got a flawless service bonus. A sleep tied, I'll protect you was an extra 300. We're into day six. Rise and shine. Mm. Good morning. <laughs> it's 11 a.m. though. That's morning for me on the weekends and any other day. How's everything outside? Still noisy, but forces have been deployed to take care of most of them at least. How so? Zaibatsu Corp's president is pleading with anyone to stop the rogue white knights. Neighboring city forces were deployed quickly and have subdued most of the opposition. There have also been reports of White Knights just freezing, like they were petrified somehow. You make it sound like some god suddenly decided to put everything in place. Well, I'm just glad no bullets are flying in and out of the whole building. Sure, there's still some bad apples out, and it's not really safe yet, but it was worse last night. There also seems to be a civilian force lynching any White Knight they spot. So not only are the White Knights a problem, regular folks are on edge too. 
wonder if Say is okay. Should we be worried about Gil? That kid knows how to take care of himself. I'm sure that whatever it is that he's doing, he's safe. Dare I say, even safer wherever he is than here. I sure hope so. Are we gonna work today? Nah, things are too nasty right now. Let's take Sunday off. Alright. Say, do you want me to help you get to your apartment? Actually, yeah, I'd appreciate that. Okay, then let me lock things up and we'll go. We'll grab something for lunch on the way. Sounds good. Oh, damn. <laughs> and here we are. Home sweet home. Thanks a lot. Hey, boss, want to hang out for a bit? Hmm? Yeah, grab a beer, chill for a bit, mostly to thank you for helping me. Well, I don't have much to do anyway, so yeah, sure. I did tell you you should invite me to your apartment sometime, didn't I? Oh yeah, you did. What worries me a bit is the beer always leads to something else. To more beer? I was gonna say to one of us going through the Spanish announcer's table. <laughs> but I think we're safe here. Come on in then. Excuse me. Want one? Sorry, I don't smoke. Don't mind... Me, though. Smoke if you wanna. Thanks. Say, how is the chilly weather treating you? It gets cold from time to time, but nothing the kotatsu and the heater can't fix. Oh, right, boss. You're not very good with the cold, are you? You know it. You didn't bring your jacket here, either. Yeah, I left it at home when I was going to the bar yesterday. If it wasn't that cold, and I didn't expect to spend the night at the bar. Would you like a sweater or something? Oh, don't mind me. I insist. I had this hoodie from some time ago that was too big for me. Why buy it, then? It was dirt cheap! Right. Wait, where did you get this one? Don't know, some flea market ages ago. Why? Nothing, it's just like the one I had many years ago. What happened to it? Too much juice, it just ripped. I see. You can keep it if you want. I never use it anyway. Um, we'll see. Come to think of it, how old are you, boss? I'm eternally 17! <laughs> Fair enough, 17 plus how much? 17 plus I'd have to cut your tongue if you knew. Alright! Let me go change into something more comfortable. Take your time. Kitty! Look at the kitty. Look at this beautiful cat. Look at this beautiful cat. He's so wumpy. The grumpiest of cats. He's so wumpy. Four. Just dot dot dot. Poor kitty didn't get fed last night. Say, Jill, there's a blue-eyed mass of black fur glaring in my general direction. Mm, oh, that's just four. He's just wary of any new visitors. Cats will be cats, I guess. He'll warm up quickly, though. Just give him time. He's unusual-looking. Blue eyes on a black cat. They usually have green. Oh, well, hello! I see Michikai. Hello there. How are you? I hope you're having a wonderful evening so far. I love this cat, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, weird, huh? At first I thought they were like that because he was small, but they never changed. Thank you so much for lurking, by the way. We do have a lurk command if you want to use that. You have any pets, boss? Back at home we had a bear. Ah, I see- what? Good old Bosco. He kept intruders way better than any dog. <laughs> right. Huh, this picture here isn't something you see every day. What, me taking such a sappy pic? No, a framed picture on printed paper. It's so vintage. Who are these? That's, um... The one on the right is Lenore, my ex-girlfriend. And the one on the left is Gabriel, her sister. Has that pic recent or... Actually, that one's from three to four years ago. You look exactly the same. I'm only 27. What did you expect? That's why they say kids are the ones that get old. I thought it was recent because you don't usually see people displaying pictures of their exes so openly, let alone a printed and framed one. Did you two break up on good terms then? You even hesitated a bit when calling her your ex. Let's just say that everything ended with both of us saying mean things, and me storming out of her house breaking a couple of things on the way out. We never broke up formally, and I guess I still have feelings for her. I just went away, haven't said a word since. Really? It's hard to picture you doing such a thing, and you look so happy in the pic. Why have her pick out like this, then? I just couldn't get my mind off something that Alma said to me. About missing having the warmth of someone else pressed against your side. Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfume with theirs. Putting your head in their chest, listening to their breathing as they pet your head. Dozing off knowing they're there, watching you, protecting you. I don't know. I felt nostalgic, then miserable. I'll just put this away. 
I've been meaning to apologize, but I feel like it's too late now. Whenever I go out, there's this fear in the back of my head that I'll meet her in the street. I just don't know if I could face her again, let alone talk to her. I'd be a mess. It's never too late to apologize, Jill. Maybe. Hmm, what's this on the table? Looks like an invit. It's nothing, nothing, now please give it to me. Lope, alright. I saw nothing, don't worry. Anyway, let's grab some beers. Guide me. Oh, look at them, they're cute. Damn, you have lots of beer. Well, the BTC gives me discounts and a point card I can use every time I buy their alcohol. But that beer is actually the cheapest drink I can get. Is there any difference between the drinks at the bar and these? Love the pixel art? Yeah, I do too. Oh look, there's a Kiramiki thing right here. Drinks at the bar are more addictive, flavorful, and also stronger than the ones they sell in stores. And besides, one of the bars more of a double IPA. This one is more of a pilsner. In English, please. This one's lighter in color and lighter in flavor. No, it doesn't taste like it, it lighter to me. <laughs> so made with that, um, what's the name of the base liquid you use at the bar again? Pardon me, I saw this and I, it took me a moment. I was like, oh. Nutriogenic dichometrical Lidogenol or NDL. <laughs> it was a supplement or something, right? It was an experimental fluid they created to replace water when the maiden kiss polluted the water supplies. The effects of pollution turned out to be temporary, so NDL never went into mass production. But the BTC still commissioned it to be used in bars. And is this one made with it? Let's see. Yep, here it is near the end. NDL and cornstarch. Cornstarch? It serves as a stabilizer, if I remember correctly. They need it for packaged drinks. I see, and I just realized something. What? You're a nerd, Jill. <laughs> Guilty as charged. I still have that bottle of rum somewhere around. Do you want some of it? Will you have some too? Not really, no. I leave it like that. I'm not letting you drink beer alone. It's not... How drinking with friends works. Do you consider me a friend then, boss? Why wouldn't I? Don't know. What with being my boss and all, I was never too sure. Well, in case you had any doubts, yes, I consider you one of my best friends. Aww. Besides, you and Gil are always so diligent and responsible that I'm boss in name only. It's good to know. I'm gonna finish off this beer. <laughs> one beer is down. On a side note, it surprised me you kept that poster of me in the room. And even more that you hung it in plain sight. When I gave it to you, it was more or less a joke, you know? It doesn't make you uncomfortable. If it doesn't make you uncomfortable, why would it make me uncomfortable? It's my own face. I'm still wondering why you did it, though. Aside from filling an empty spot on the wall, I don't really know. I thought it was funny, too. I guess it's like if someone gave you... Don't know. A dildo-shaped trophy or something you had in... And you had it there as a conversation starter, although no one comes here anyway, so it's kind of pointless. What, no steamy nights of passion? Not since a year ago, I think, and I'd rather not talk about what happened then. And did someone hurt you? Because if they did, I can go dish out the pain. No, nothing of the sort. A different kind of mess. Uncomfortable mess. A not being able to have sex for reasons mess. Glad to know you have my back, though. That's what friends are for. Wait, you talk about the poster and compare it to, like, having a dildo-shaped trophy. Did you just call me dildo face? That's what friends are for. Hey, boss, be honest with me here. About what? Who's Gil exactly? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Who the fuck is he? Oh, yeah, that. I have a couple of ideas. I know for certain that Gil was in the Hong Kong riots. And they took part in the anti-riot force before defecting. That should give me a clue as to who he is, but... What? So far, I've only found out about one such defector, and he didn't leave Hong Kong for at least four years. I also know for certain that Gil was in England and France during that time frame. And it's always like that. When I think I have a clue on who he is, something else comes up that contradicts the evidence. Interesting. That guy's troublesome. A bit, yeah. I wonder if Gil's alright. You worried about him? You make it sound like I'm some emotionless robot. You can be hard to read. 
I wouldn't worry about Gil so much, though. There's three things I know for certain about him. First, he can take care of himself. Second, you can sincerely trust him. And third, he absolutely hates bell pepper. <laughs> he absolutely hates bell pepper. That's good to know. I can harass him with it now. He does? I've seen him reject, even reject food that has been in contact with it. Man, what a baby, unless he's allergic or something. He's not. Man, what a baby. How did you meet such a guy? He showed up at the door front, showed up in the door of the bar. He, what? Well, it was shortly after the whole incident with Robert and the levitation program. Potion. Right, levitation potion. He hate bell peppers too. I actually have a mild allergy to bell peppers. I don't do well with them and I get a headache about 30 minutes after eating them. It's not fun. There's a slow day and he just showed up at the bar. I offered him a drink, but he said he didn't have money on him. I couldn't leave him alone, so I pretty much gave him the drinks for free. You love bell peppers? Well, I mean, I'm happy you do. Now I know that if you ever come to visit, I'll just take all the bell peppers and like slowly push them towards you. And after a couple, he broke down crying. He, huh? I don't know what he did, but he was really, really regretting it. He wanted a second chance or whatever, and I told him he could wash himself and I'd find him a job. And I'll be damned, he looked totally different the next day. Damn. I tried and failed to find out anything about him, so I decided to take him at face value. I judge him for what he did as an employee. And aside from the occasional sudden escapade, he's been as loyal as loyal gets. I returned the favor in kind, covering his ass from time to time, sometimes literally. What surprises me is that you took him in so easily. I can take care of myself and I always kept an eye on him. And besides, after the whole robber thing, I couldn't ignore someone that, that desperate so easily. I see. You made the bar more lively yourself, you know? How so? Well, with the regulars you've earned, of course. Like that blonde, <laughs> blonde titty hacker, I can't remember her name. Alma? I was gonna say Armitage. Oh, Armitage was actually an anime I watched a long time ago. She's a nice girl, you know? I don't think she's young enough to be called a girl. Says the girl who's eternally 17. In any case, she's really lovely. When you hear her speak of her family, she speaks with such love, her face just brightens up. Makes me kind of jealous that she has such a close relationship with them, to be honest. You have bad relations with your family? Not bad, but I'm not exactly close to anyone aside from my mom, dad, and aunt. But back to Alma. I'm really hoping she finds a nice guy to settle with. I mean, she's so bent on finding one. I can't help but want to see her succeed. Ah, I see. There's also that sex worker robot girl. <laughs> ah, Dorothy. She intrigues me, though. I've seen lots of sex workers over the years, and she seems pretty giddy. It's not that she likes her job, but rather that she takes it to it with such childish excitement. I've kind of noticed that too, but then again, Lilum can be weird. You think? Lilum operates in some kind of- and some really foreign logic. I mean, they don't really share out our fear of mortality. Even then, their bodies are dest- Even if their bodies are destroyed, their minds are already backed up in the collective source. Interesting. Or tea. <laughs> All the tea. Oh my god, it's like I took just a sip of pure fucking honey. <laughs> if they lose an arm, they can reattach it or replace it. Depending on the circumstances, they might not even feel pain at all. It's not like they haven't attained human-like emotions like fear or love, but they are different. Like a different culture, if you must. Hmm. I didn't see it that way. Aside from that, Dorothy is a DFC-72. It's a social interactions model or something. Making a robot sounds nice? No. You're a Dulahan. And I prefer that. Let them get positive reinforcement straight from their bodies if they're fulfilling their main purpose. So I'm guessing she gets a built-in push whenever she's in a meaningful or challenging social interaction. Interesting. The name Lilum is a bit weird though. It is? You'd expect them to be called bots or dolls, but Lilum doesn't convey the image of automatons. Just a tip, bots and dolls are considered slurs by them. Bot is akin to calling them retarded, and doll is like calling them fake. Thanks for the advice. That aside, do you know why they're called Lilum? As far as I know, because they all come from a bigger AI called Lilith. 
and Lilim are Lilith's offspring in Jewish folklore. Oh, cool. And yes, my sis is part fairy. Give me, give me one sec here. Every so often I apologize for pausing here and there. I'm still in a bit of a conversation with my mom. Trying to see how, how her cat is doing. Hey, speaking of names, why don't you like being called by your full name? I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't act stupid. Back when you first transferred, I called you Julianne and you almost tore me a new one with your glare. I say it like that. It's no big secret, but it's one of those things that feels silly when you say it out loud. Try me. Well, did you ever watch Model Warrior Julianne? Not all of it, but my little sister is a big fan of the reruns. Back when I was in elementary school, I was a huge fan of the show. I had everything from the dolls to the costumes to the lunchboxes. It didn't help that I was one. it was one of those shows that got strapped literally everywhere. I saw a couple of episodes once. They were really nice. It was beyond nice. The show's about a model that can transform into an armor-clad magic knight. She fights demons born from greed and vanity. How the show presented Jules hating her job because it invited enemies, and yet still found solace in trying to be a role model. Hi, Fitzy! How are you? And we are. We are indeed. We're, we're, having, we're having drinks with our boss. <laughs> how are you doing tonight? I hope you had a wonderful day. And yes, you did actually get a sub last time, so you can use all the emotes now. Dangerous game to drink with your boss. Well, apparently said boss views me as a friend, so it works. Hell, the main character wasn't a kid. Julianne was an adult that became younger when transformed. I'd say it was a pretty ambitious kid show. Even by today's standards. Just for the fact that her enemies were literally issues of dealing with beauty standards and body image. Challenging as fuck. Well, you got excited there. And that is the problem. Back then I was obsessed with jewels. I sang the songs dressed like her. I could even recite the full chapters. Something tells me you still can. That's beside the point. <laughs> Your day was good. You got to collab with a lot of cool people today. That's fantastic. I'm actually doing a collab this coming Friday. So, so that'll be coming up soon. I may also be streaming five days this coming week, but I'm waiting to see see about one of the games I have been playing. Yes, next week will be quite the busy week. I don't know if there's an achievement for me finishing all these beers. I'm kind of tempted. It was nice while I was in elementary school, but then I went to middle school. And what a surprise, tweens are jackasses. They went out of their way to tease me about the things I did back then. I don't hold it against Jules, I always hold my grudge against those fuck jobs. Sounds rough. You know how most girls worry about their thighs at that age? I worried about jerkasses singing the theme tune of the show mocking me. Anyway, anyways, every time someone calls me Julianne or Jules, I instinctively react negatively. Pavlov would be proud of me. I never talk about it because I find the whole thing too silly in retrospect. And yet it affects you even today. There's nothing wrong with it, though. It's actually kind of reasonable. I sure hope so. Come to think of it, what kind of kid were you, boss? When I was a toddler, I was the kind to always fight with kids bigger than me. Then puberty happened and I became the Merriam-Webster definition of shallow jerkwad. Around the time I turned 16, I realized what an idiot I was and went on to become who I am today. And the less I talk about those years from 12 to 15, the better. Fair enough. Say, boss, how do you like them men? 2D. 2D? <laughs> yes, I don't mind anything as long as the thing is cute or 2D. How about you? Um. Back in high school, I liked them funny. In college, I liked them successful. After a while, I just wanted them stable. And now? And now? I don't know. 
I stopped caring about them being funny. My high school boyfriend started conflating cheering me up with mocking me when I'm down. I also stopped caring about them being successful. I realized half the time they had no qualms about cheating with me or on me. And I stopped caring about them being stable. I realized they were the kind of person who I was trying not to become. Not become stable? There was this guy who became so obsessed with holding a stable job that he hated. He started being physically ill. Not only that, the last time I managed to get some, I ended up throwing the guy out. He took incredible offense with how I smoked on the bed after sex. The bed could catch fire, you know? Not you too. I kind of envy Alma for that. At least when she dumps a guy, it's for less petty reasons. <sighs> Are you okay? I'm fine, it's just... All it boils down to the fact that I can't get my mind off Lenore lately. She was she was all of what I just said. She made me laugh, she had a good position, it was stable. She was also smart, caring, and... Why can't I get my mind off the whole thing? It's, it's maddening. Maybe I should just go and apologize? Maybe I should. Maybe that will make me rest easier at night. Get my mind off things for a while. I don't even care about going back to her, but... But, ugh! Hey Jill, have you tried thinking about clothes for four? Clothes for... Hey. <laughs> Listen, I know how you must feel. And she's drunk. <laughs> Not when you're drunk, oh my god. But you can't let all of that cloud your senses. Next time you feel overwhelmed by those thoughts, try distracting yourself. Like with, say, thinking about what kind of clothes you can put on floor. Yeah. You know, boss, I'm a bit curious about your circle of friends. What kind of people do you have in it? Keep in mind, you're included in the circle too, so any insults you hurl will apply right back to you. Anyways, I have this friend I've known for a long time. A redheaded glasses-wearing gun nut called Iris. The one you called for the helmet thing. That one. Yeah, it's been getting redder as she's been drinking. <laughs> it's kind of great. Hang on one sec here. Okay. Sorry about that. I was responding to one final text from my mom. That one. She's managing a BTC bar in Panama right now, if I remember correctly. She's managing a bar too? I got the idea from her, actually. Oh. It's called... Nirvana. <laughs> in one R-V-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A, so Nirvana. And if you thought this city was dangerous, you should see the people she has to deal with there. Piracy ain't nothing to fuck with. And we, it's an annex to another business. What else does she do there? I think the bar was originally her hotel's bar. She moved the bar to its own building elsewhere and opened Nirvana. Or Nirvan... Ab. In the hotel instead. Weird decision. I believe she said she wanted a place away from the noisy rich tourists that go to the hotel. So that bar is her woman cave. Woman cave. That aside, let's see. Friends, friends. I guess there's also my little sister, but that's a given. Oh, there's also my old partner from when I was with the Neo San Francisco Police Force. Oh, hang on. Sorry about that. Blue had a hairball. I'll have to clean that up when I'm done streaming. Good old Lexi. Should give her a call sometime. Wait, you were in the what? I've done lots of things, Jill. I spent a short time collaborating with the police force. I've been a wrestler, an MMA fighter, chimney cleaner, lumberjack, pet shop attendant, corporate mascot. Corporate what? I still see my face on some websites from time to time. Anyway, aside from you, Gil, my sis, Iris, and Lexi. Hmm. I guess there's a lot of people that I don't want to see in harm's way. Mostly because they're the ones that want to hurt me. What about you? I guess I have acquaintances here and there. Back at home in college, I went out a lot. But I feel more like going out was the pleasure rather than the people involved. Aside from you and Gil, my closest friend since moving here is Alma. Oh, and Dorothy. I mean, sure, there's always four, but that cat's a hermit that refuses to go out. 
And you know, he's a cat. <laughs> hey, a cat's fine too, you know. Hey boss, what will you do when the bar closes? I don't know. Maybe I'll take him a friend's offer working for her. I was also thinking about going back home and helping with things there. Or maybe going traveling for a while. I see. Oh, but don't worry, bureaucracy's slow as fuck, so they won't close the bar for quite a while. Better enjoy being there while you can. Yeah, maybe. Will you be visiting me in whatever bar I end up working at? I have a bone to pick with the guy that supervises the bar I'm planning to get you transferred to. I go there even though I have virtually no reason to. With you there, I'd have something pleasant to look forward to. Um, you're sending me to someone you have problems with? If I have to trust another bar owner, it's certainly him. He's actually a pleasant boss from what I've seen. The fact that he and I have a tendency to go at each other's throats is an unrelated matter. I'll trust you on that one, then. Don't worry, maybe I can get you a bracelet made out of wood pieces from the bar's counter or something. Uh, we'll see. Hey, I'll tell you what. When the bar closes, let's both take a vacation. Go on a trip. That'll clear your mind a bit. Yeah, maybe. This is pretty. Oh, we're in chapter two. Amarga. I wonder what happens if you drink all the cans. I don't know. The electricity bill. Eight thousand dollars for the electric bill holy crap oh, thank you for the hydrate and the posture check and the stretch okay so she's curious about a daruma she saw Let's see what we got here. Inflation is no joke, just look a oh, Valhalla inflation. Yeah, pretty much. Thank you, sis. I really do appreciate that. Oh, the boss left the hoodie anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. Danger use admin has been arrested again. Okay. Here's the ongoing thing about Apollo Bank. Can confirm the situation has finally reached its end. The attacker was shot dead, but a huge amount of data was released from all servers around the world. Remember the leaks from Alice? Those were nothing compared to this. Proof of corruption, money laundering, espionage. It's actually pretty unsettling. Damn. The file is available from approximately 60,000 sources. Terabytes that contain all operations from the glitch, glitch city government and white knight operations. It seems the ultimate goal from the attacker was not to blow up the bank, but lead hostages towards the servers inside of the bank which had the files under several layers of physical security. That shit sounds whack. How do you even make a plan this complex? No idea, but that's what some of the witnesses are telling the police. Okay, it looks like I have to leave, but I'll try and write down all the details for a future post. Gonna need some time, though. Godspeed and on. Thanks. Apparently four talks to me. Will you read this file? Nah. <laughs> We'll save again. I like the music. Okay. So let's see here. Back to work we go. This game has 
A lot of comfy vibes and heavy topics. It does. Good eat Gil? Oh, hey, guys. He's back! He's safe! Hello! How the hell did you get in? I have a copy of the key, remember? Wait, that's how you greet me after so many days? I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut your paycheck for leaving so many days without notice. See you, Chill? He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. Wait, why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? The need for you having a key never arose. True. Anyway, glad you're fine, Gil. Thanks, I guess. What, are you gonna make me wash the bathrooms again? Not today. Listen, I don't know who the hell you really are or what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass, but remember there are people that actually care for you. Don't just leave like you did. Especially after all hell broke loose. At least give it a sign you're still alive. So you were worried? Isn't that normal? When it comes to you, I don't know. Shut up. <laughs> She's right, though. You shouldn't make ladies worry so much. Check if the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Fine, fine. You always enjoyed it, but don't think I got this far when I played it. It was years ago. Well, now you get to see more of it. Hey boss, why'd you leave the hoodie at my place? Because it's yours? But I told you you could keep it. Sorry, I couldn't find it in myself to take it. Why? Partly because I didn't feel right taking it. But mostly because I thought you'd totally look cute with it. I, I see. Don't think I'm rejecting a gif of yours, it's just... Preserving cuteness is one of my principles. Right. Are you still worried about the whole bar closure thing? Of course I am. I'm like, I can't work here because of it, but you know. All we can do is enjoy whatever time we have left here as best we can. Yeah. So cheer up. Clients smell sadness and fear, and we don't want that. I'll go to my office. Okay. Antenna's fine. Did I miss anything? Not really, no. Anyway, let's start the day. The answer to lies within is the last one I picked. So... Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh yeah, Gil? Hmm? Glad to see you're fine. I mean it. Thanks. Excuse me, I'm looking for Dana Zane. May I have your name? Tell her it's Brian. Just a sec. Boss, some Brian guy is looking for you. Tell him I'll be there in a bit! She'll, um, you heard her. It's alright, I'll wait. It's weird for someone to come asking for her, though. It's not so weird when you're BTC's regional manager around these parts. Yikes, I guess that's... Um, I guess I didn't give you the best first impression. <laughs> Don't worry, I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely because of my position anyway. Handled me like I'm just another client. Alright, I can do that. What can I get you, Mr. Brian? Let's go with the basics. A sugar rush, please. Coming right up. Here. Yeah, this one's nice. Back in training, they made a big deal out of sugar rushes. Why? They're like the fried eggs of mi mixing drinks. They're the most basic thing, but people can still mess them up. Sugar rushes are simple enough that you only need to follow instructions. If you can't even do that, your future as a bartender is not bright. Huh, they never told me that. You're Jill, right? Yep, that's me. I wonder if they ever made a mixology book for this game. That would be cool. I'm tempted to look into that. Dana has talked quite a bit about you. Really? And I guess you must have a few questions for me, am I right? Mostly concerning the closure warning Valhalla got. Can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. Thanks. Don't mention it. Now where to start? You saw the news information leaked during the Apollo Trust Bank incident, right? About the White Knights having lots of members from criminal organizations in their ranks? Turns out the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those same folks have been trying to elude legal problems using BTC certified bars. The BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't dig too deeply. At least not without going through a ton of paperwork first, giving the criminals time to cover their tracks. Although it takes a bit of time to set up, it apparently has proven an effective method for money laundering. Where does Valhalla come in? Young bars are the ones under the radar right now. The 
and the modest to low income ones are the primary suspects. It's not just Valhalla, any small bar with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure notice is due to low sales. Among reasons bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close every year. You'll find out soon enough, huh? Sorry? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. Seems your guess was spot on, Gil. Hmm? If it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal in your place. Really? Why? Most of Glitch City's bar are a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage or shady drinks. This is one of the few places from which I almost never receive complaints. The closest thing to a recent complaint was from the whole Farmer Fabrics affair from a little while ago. So much saliva. <laughs> ah yes, the corgi party. All the talking corgis. <sighs> I wouldn't get my hopes up though. Especially since the BTC will try to save base by axing as many suspects as possible. Knowing you're making an effort is enough. Thanks. Can I get you anything else? Now that I remember, the recipe book has a drink created here, right? Oh yeah, the suplex. Give me one of those, please. Sure. Let's give Brian a suplex. Here. Oh, thank you for the stretch. I appreciate that. Let's see here. The registry form said this was an accident while making a pile driver. You can ask the creator of the drink just over there. Ah, uh, so you're Robert. Yes, that's my name. I'm Robert, the one and only. Jill called you Gil, though. Uh, that's Argentinian slang. Robert here is from Argentina, so we just call him Gil. Huh, I see. Sorry, Brian, I was sorting some stuff out in the office. Please come in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, Jill? Not really, no. Although, yeah? If you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? Clean and timely delivery of the correct orders, a top-notch bartender. Thanks. Now if you'll excuse me. I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Ah, I see. I wonder what boss will talk to Brian about. Um, Jill, was it? Oh, Stella! Ah, Miss Stella, what a pleasure. Are you okay? Yeah, um, just call me Stella. And get me a big beer, please. Huh, sure, on it. Ah, she's worried about Say. The Makote has returned. Are you sure you're fine? Um, you know Say, right? Of course, what's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during that whole affair and- Oh, right, that. So she- She didn't show up on the list of massive body count in the aftermath, so... I was hoping that maybe you've seen her. As much as I'd love to say that I had. Yeah, I figured as much. Man, the air is suddenly a lot heavier. I mean, I could tell her everything will be alright, but that would sound a bit condescending. <sighs> what does one even do in this kind of situation? Maybe a joke? Nah, that'd be too tasteless. Okay, just try and say anything. At the very least, you'll break the tension. Maybe distracting her will be enough? I don't think I can... I don't think clearly went under this type of pressure, do I? Uh, there was a private eye here the other day. Eye? Sorry, I'm a bit on edge. A private detective, I take it? <laughs> Yeah, maybe you'll want his services? What's his name? I believe it was Art... Dan, no, Von Delay. Ah, that Art guy. Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look for Say. So you still have hope. I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now, and I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. I see. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel. I believe he'll give me answers about, say, whatever they might be. 
sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve all my problems with the swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Oh, sorry, no, it's not about feeling uncomfortable. It's just weird. I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. And right now I can't find any words that don't sound hypocritical, useless, or tasteless. I'm glad to know that you have that much common sense, at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you anything else? Something sweet. That'll help me calm down a bit. Gladly. Give me one sec here. I'm getting- I'm, I'm ordering some food. <laughs> Something sweet to calm her down. Oh, and the rocks and blended. So I gotta shake this for a moment. Ah, uh, Taco Bell. <laughs> Here. Thanks. Seems you really like Say. I don't have brothers or sisters, and my social interactions are usually strictly business. So Say's more than a friend to me. She's... she's... Sorry about that topic at a bad time. Ahem. <clears throat> don't worry about it. As I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone I can trust wholeheartedly. I'd say she's like my sister, but siblings usually lack that level of trust. I have to deal with the high with high-class pricks of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They use a business mask to hide anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. But with Say, I can be myself, I can do whatever I want, and vent all my frustrations. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. But here I am, sitting in a bar, making other people do that job because I'm a useless pile of flesh. No. Sorry about the outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. Still, would you like some fresh air? I'm gonna take my break and you you could use some. Well, for a given value of fresh. I'm fine, thanks. Okay then. Gil, please service Miss Stella while I take my break. Sure, leave it to me. And we're on break. And back in we go. God damn, it's, is it chilly outside? Okay, base of the Titans was the last one I picked. Right there, okay. I'm back, eh? What would a kid like you know about that, eh? I'm just giving you the facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? Let's see. Detective guy comes in, cat boomer girl greets him, they start talking. Everything was okay until the girl mentioned Zaibatsu Corp offhand. After that, the guy got riled up and started badmouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. She just carried on like it was just a normal conversation. You love the doodles? Yeah, the doodles make me happy. I see. While I won't deny Zabetsu Corp is anything but innocent, when you get down to it, it has enhanced the quality of life here. Yeah, but if by enhanced you mean getting yanked around by a shiny new chain around our necks, can't you see that those big companies don't care about us? Why do you think Glitch City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? We're just one big test group for them to use however they want. But then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. True, I don't know. And true, I have a privilege that clouds my judgment. But can you deny that the meddling of Zaibatsu Corp has brought quite a few benefits? Like what? The AI integration program they started by is making huge advances in the AI department. Every day more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AIs as citizens. Yes, but we also hold the AI reformation program, meaning that we're also in the world's Lilum prison. AI went rogue, transfer it to a delivery drone, or ship it to Glitch City. That murderer is now delivering your pizza. Fair point, although that program has proven to have reformed many AIs. They don't brag about their 88% success rate for nothing. Um, 
The city also has a stronger economy. Zaibatsu Corp's success has made even more companies bring their products here. And the gap between classes continues to grow. More companies just mean more people who will plant their feet on your face. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Uh, Zaibatsu Corp's main medical brand research branch has also made lots of discoveries. More and more illnesses previously thought to be incurable are being addressed every day. It's amazing for those who can afford them. Meanwhile, down here we're experiencing medicine shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Oh, but there are also more jobs. All the companies are coming down here and need personnel. So the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. More jobs? Shut up. Am I wrong? Well, that's... Hey, you don't just sit there. Give me a Zen star. Sure. Wow. Wow, okay. Four of each ingredient. Here. God, this is awful. It's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. Why else would I say it? You do bring up something I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over time are limited to a few. I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end, they're still just luxury belonging only to a few. And even those that can be accessed by everyone are more like an improvement in the bigger picture. That doesn't take away the fact that there have been positive changes. Credit where credit's due, don't you think? That's a pretty mature answer. Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. The only people who are afraid of discussion are the ones whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. Yeah, mature, whatever. I'm gonna take the chance to ask you about that job I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find much, but I can't at least tell you she wasn't at the bank when it opened up. What does that mean? Either she left before the whole ordeal started, or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. All the corpses are accounted for. They only found a... One totally disfigured, but witnesses identified it. And it wasn't your friend, that much is for sure. I see. Did you call him here? No, he just so happened to come here today. The weird part is that the girl didn't enter the bank. It's like she vanished or something. I see. Thanks. Keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. Hope is the last thing you lose, I guess. Sorry, I'm checking on Blue right quick. If he's telling the truth, say mine and found a way out. She's a resourceful girl. She surely did something. I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Um, just give me whatever you order. Two bad touches, please. <laughs> On it. <laughs> Every time... Every time the bad touch comes up, laughs at it. I remember this one party I went to. The guy that came up with the name of this drink showed up. After people found that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. He didn't seem offended to me, though. I imagine the guy shows up and tells you, I made a classy bad touch. Wouldn't you line up to slap him? Um, are you okay, Jill? I'm fine. <laughs> that's been kind of heavy, though, yeah. Now that I think of it, did you find the girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Von Delay? Turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl? Someone paid me to look for Crimson Rose and she happened to be at the, um... What? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you were looking for. Oh, don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about was say is people. Why is that? Her attitude is usually so laid back and gentle that she has no problem getting people on her side. And on the off chance that she has to defend herself, well... I once saw her take care of a warbot gone haywire by herself. She didn't need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, but also really good with Krav Maga and... Something wrong? No, nothing. I just realized I forgot all about that. Say's not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resourceful. She surely found a way out. <sighs> I just hope she's well, wherever the hell she is. She owes me an ice cream. You want another drink, Mr. Vondelay? It's on me. Are you sure? 
Yeah, order away. Okay, then I'll have a piano man. And you, Miss Stella? Yeah, fine, get his order. Okay. A piano man. So this is what drinking something classy without worrying about the pri price feels like. All right, I should get going. My contact will arrive soon at the rendezvous, at the rendezvous point soon. I'll let you know if I find out anything else, Miss Hoshi. Please do. Right then. You've been generous today. He made my night with his discoveries on Say's situation. I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. Well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. Thanks again. Please come again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. Thanks, this place is soothing. I'm just going to sit over there near the arcades. Alright, then that will be all, Dana. Quite a mess, the situation with, um, Robert. Ryan, you have a meeting in an hour with... MI6 Hall C. Right, right. Oh, if it isn't Miss Hoshi herself. Ah, oh, Brian, fancy meeting you here. I didn't expect to see you here of all places. Are you busy? Mind catching up for a bit? Sure, no problem. Joe will be sitting over here. Let me know if you need anything. we Will do. Um, this holophone is an old model, so hanging up is a bit laggy. You can call me Cass, by the way. I I'm Jill. S say, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. She's not hurting anyone, and wouldn't you say it's more interesting than what- finally hung up. Phew, it's been quite the day. At least the streets are calm today. I have wheeze arrived yet again at the <coughs> oh god, at the majestic hall of heroes oh god, it's him again we meet again, bartender you look winded Virgilio it's pronounced Virgilio no, I'm pretty sure it's Virgilio you said as much last time you came Pronunciations are a silly thing society imposes on letters. They want to be free. They want to be pronounced however they want. You look winded, Virgilio. We all have little... We are all little toys winded by the cruel hand of fate. Yeah, I hate this guy. Just stumbling until it decides not to wind us anymore. And yet, you're the only one with the vicinity hyperventilating. That's um, I was jogging. Dressed like that? I can jog however I want. Yes, you can. What can I get you? Something fake. Of course. Uh... Mm. What does this call for? I'm gonna... Hang on, hang on. I actually want to see. I'm gonna just... Hmm. I'm gonna... T fuck it. Pretty much everything in here is fake. Here you go. Now tell me why this is fake, because I didn't even try. Your expectations of me giving a damn about the abstract orders are fake. Bravo! Brilliant! Say, Virgilio, where do you work? I take the noble duties of curator at the Steampunk Museum. Really? What do you do? I study everything that comes and keep it clean for the people that visit the premises. 
but lately my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yes, he told me, stop touching the exhibits, you're going to break them, the nerve of some people. Eh? eh? He still fails to realize that I'm the curator there. Without me, all those machines would be rustier than they already are. Even the visitors get that I'm the one responsible for those. Why can't the owner realize it that too? Yeah. I bet he treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly. Okay, then time for your next challenge, bartender. Challenge, he says. I want purity. Purity. Hmm. T -t fuck it, I'm just gonna make him whatever the fuck drink. Uh... Purely an I'll just- I wish I could just give him an ice cube. How is this pure? It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Ah, yes. Beautiful. <sighs> hmm? Hey, you. The guy over there. Me? Yes, you. Have we met before? Can't remember. Maybe? Yeah, I think- no, 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 we haven't met ever, at all. That's an interesting reaction. Ah, Jill, I'll be taking my leave now. Be careful out there. Thanks, huh? Excuse me, have we met somewhere before? That face, that eye. What about my eye, punk? We haven't met at all. Never, ever, ever, ever. Good talking to you, bartender. Um, did you just scare off a client? Apparently. Well, I'm off. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Are we done for the day? Yep. Quite a few clients, considering the whole situation. Oh shit, that Virgilio guy. So you two actually met before? Yeah, you could say that. What, what? Gill stuff, don't mind it. What were you talking about to Brian? Well, we were mostly catching up, to be honest. Thank you for- <laughs> Thank her for scaring him away. Thank you. Thank you, Stella. You're fantastic. I'm so sure that guy is on something. Probably. I hadn't seen him in a while. I offered him a drink when we met last week. Talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to um, explain the situation with Robert here. He agreed to help me out with that one when the time comes. Ah. Oh. I was also tuning up the details for the new employee. New employee? A part-timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. Oh. Him? So it's a guy? An adorable guy, if I do say so myself. I suddenly have deja vu. Are you alright, Jill? Y yeah. It must be nothing. <laughs> Jill's a bit tense. Buy a shoulder massager to prevent her from getting distracted. Okay. Chill about what she's wanted, okay. Electricity bill. Eight that yeah, I'll make that just fine. It's the twentieth. So let me go ahead and save for now. Alright. So for now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up for the evening, because we've been going for about two and a half hours and my throat is starting to be like, hey, you know what's great? Not working properly. <laughs> So, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up here for tonight, but we're gonna go see who we can raid first. So let's see here. What do we got today? Who is streaming?
We'll go past through Kyote. Give me one sec here. Da -da 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 -da. All right. So starting up this raid. Thank you all so much for coming by tonight. Thank you again for all of your support. You are all absolutely wonderful and amazing. And I will be back on Monday. My schedule will be posted tomorrow. I do have a couple of videos up on my YouTube channel, so feel free to go check those out because my sis does a fantastic job of editing. And I hope you all have a wonderful night. Thank you again for all of your support, and I'll see you next time. Bye! As I accidentally cancel out of the raid. No! <laughs> this is this is my doom here. Alright, here we go.